Here they are asking us to sketch a curve of this particular uh, function specifically and then a second curve which we have to decide based on this equation and show that this equation has only one real root and state the equation of the second curve. This should be our first step. Without that, how can we uh, draw the curve? Uh, so we have to first do the last one, this one first, okay? So since one of them is lin x plus one, we will isolate lin x plus one from here. So let's do it. So lin x plus one it remains where it is and 40 minus x cube goes to the other side. This minus x cube, this x cube goes to the other side becomes 40 minus x cube and now we have one separate function on the left side, one separate function on the right side and we can draw the graph of both. So they said state the equation of the second curve. Second curve will be y equal to 40 minus x cube. The first one they have already given y equal to lin x plus 1. All right. So lin x plus 1 uh, you should know that the parent function of lin x, only lin x, looks like this. Sorry, uh, I'll have to go this way. Something like this, right? But there's a plus one. Plus one, what does plus one do? It shifts the whole curve to the left by one. So the one, our asymptote was the y-axis. Now our asymptote will be x equal to minus one. And our graph will look like this now. Let me be very careful about this. Something like this. Okay. Now, we want the second one. Y equal to 40 minus X cube. So let me show you how X cube looks like. X cube looks like this. But it is minus X cube. So minus X cube will be the reflection of this, which will be this on x-axis okay now this 40 is adding to minus x cube we can write this as minus x cube plus 40 right so plus 40 means each point will go up by 40 this is 0 0 so your y intercept will be now 0 40 and the graph will be something like this okay so let's copy this one the final one on our main graph Okay, gone. All right. So if I say this is uh, say 10, this is 20, this is 30, and this is 40. So our graph will be something like this. Okay, our this scale will be 1, 2, 3. Uh, if you look at the second part, I have copied the second part also. In second part, they're saying verify by calculation that the root lies between 3 and 4. So in your drawing, try to show that your graph is intersecting between three and four. This is three, this is four. So let me change my graph so that I get an intersection somewhere here. Okay, done. This is the answer of the first part. But Many of you may not remember how the parent function graph looks like, how x cube graph looks like, how lin x plus one uh, looks like. In that case, you'll have to work hard and make a table x, y, and get a hint from the second part again. It is between three and four. So your three and four should be there. So you can start from say uh, minus one and go up to six in both of the graphs from minus one to six so that three and four is somewhere in between and your graph uh, crosses between three and four and that's how you can do it but it will consume a lot of time now we have to verify your calculation that the root lies between three and four so what do we do in such case we should uh, put everything to the left side even this 40 should come to the left side so let me do it here so x cube plus lin x plus 1 minus 40 equal to 0, right? Once we have done that, plug in uh, when x equal to 3 because they have said between 3 and 4, right? So plug in 3 first. So 3 cube 
plus lin 3 plus 1, right? 4. Minus 40. And when x is equal to 4, which is the second number, 4 cube plus lin 4 plus 1, 5 minus 40. So you will see that one of them will give you a positive number, one of them give you will give you a negative number. Let me do it myself and write it here. So I got negative 11.61 in this case and 25, positive 25.6 in this case. So since the sign changed from negative to positive, so we finally write the change in sign is an evidence of presence of a root between 3 and 4. This is what they wanted us to show. Let's go to part 3, which is somewhere here. Okay. Use iterative formula, this one, to find a answer in three decimal places. Give results of each to five decimal places. Since they have not given any starting point and we know that the root is between 3 and 4, so we will start with 3.5, which is exactly between 3 and 4. So this iterative formula, x n plus 1, n equal to 1 first will take. So it will become x2 equal to cube root of 40 minus lin and this is our x1 okay 3.5 this is what we're starting with so xn plus 1 so 3.5 plus 1 is 4.5 we put this in our calculator and i get uh, 3.37654 we want five decimal places so this is the one okay next x3 in that case uh, this x will become this 3.37654 now cube root of 40 minus lin uh, 4.37654. I have added 1 already. This 1 plus 1. I have added so that it becomes easy. We, uh, we get 3.37735. Okay. So we can see that they want us to give answer up to 3 decimal places. So if I round off this one. So three decimal places it will be 3.377 and if I round off this also it will be 3.377 again so we got our answer within two steps our final answer is the root is 3.377 let's go to the next one fourth deduce the root of the equation this giving answer correct to two decimal places so uh, this doesn't look like this but we have some kind of connection here so you know what let me copy the original one it has something to do with the original one okay this is the this was our original equation right and for this equation, our answer came out to be x equal to 3.377. Now, let's compare this with here. y equal to, it, if we compare this equation with the one here, y equal to lin x plus 1. So, an x equal to uh, e to the power y minus 1. Let's compare if this gives us this, just, just for the sake of, uh, confirming that we are on the right track. So if I put it here, e to the power y, this one, this equation, okay, e to the power y will be x plus 1 and x equal to e to the power y minus 1. Yes, the second one and the first one are connected very well. So here we got x cube equal to, uh, sorry, x equal to 3.77. That means in this equation, e to the power y minus 1, which is equal to x, is equal to 3.377. So e to the power y will be 3.377 plus 1. e to the power y equal to 4.377. And we have to solve for y. So y equal to lin uh, 
4.377 and uh, y comes out to be if I put this in my calculator I get uh, 1.4763 same figure actually 1.48 this will be the answer so whenever they're saying giving your answer correct to two decimal places it means they wanted the value of y and we found the value of y